welcome to today's video lesson today we'll be looking at another typical practical exam question on on light or optics these are the instructions to the question i will read them determine and record the approximate focal length f subscript o of the concave mirror provided arrange the ray box the mirror and the screen as shown in the diagram adjust the ray box to a distance b is equal to 20 centimeter from the mirror adjust the position of the screen such such until a sharp image of the cross wire of the ray bus is formed on it. E. Measure and record the distance A of the screen from the mirror. Evaluate A over B, which is equal to L. Repeat the procedure for four other values of B, which are 25, 30, 35, and 40 centimeters, respectively. Tabulate your readings. Plot the graph of L on the vertical axis against A on the horizontal axis. Determine the slope X of the graph and afterwards evaluate S raised to the power of minus 1. State 2 precautions taken to ensure accurate results. So these are the instructions to the question. Now we begin. So the procedure to tackle this practical question without the without actually performing the practical that's what we are going into now so first we have to measure the focal length of the mirror provided and i have measured mine and mine is 15 centimeters so in this practical you are expected to measure yours that's the only measurement you are you are, you are required to do I've measured mine. Now, in theory, for the formula for images for formed by curved mirrors and lenses is giving us 1 over f as 1 over focal length is equal to 1 over, over u plus 1 over v. This formula is very, very essential because everything we are going to do in this particular hinges on this formula. So, you should write that down and never forget it so where f is the focal length i have said so u is the object distance from the mirror so the distance of the object or ray box from the mirror is u and v is the image distance from the mirror or we can say the distance from the screen to the mirror so here u is our B and V is our A. Okay. Now will we start the first one? So we have the first um one at when B when the distance B is 20 centimeter. So when the distance B is 20 centimeter, what are we going to do? Now using the mirror formula, which I have said before. 1 over f is equal to 1 over b plus 1 over a. Like I said, the b here is representing u, while the a here is representing v. Where b is the object distance and a is the image distance, we have that 1 over our focal length is equal to 1 over 20, which is our object distance is equal to 1 over a which is our image distance the image of the, the the distance of the screen and that is what we are looking for so when we try to simplify that we we'll have that 1 over a is equal to 1 over 60. so taking the reciprocal of a we will now find out that a is actually 60 centimeters so we will now evaluate a over b evaluating a over b we have um, 
a over b is equal to 3. Okay. And once we've done that, we will now go straight to our table of values. We will now compute our table of values. And remember, the, the header of a table of value will contain the parameters with their units. It's very important. Okay. And you can see the number of decimal places in my table of values are uniform. So I have fee for B, 20.00, A, 60.00, and L is 3.00. So that is the first table of value. Now, every other thing is a piece of cake. You still follow the same procedure. Okay. So we're going to go when B is equal to 25 centimeters. So what will happen? Using the mirror formula again, 1 over F is equal to 1 over B plus 1 over A. Then, like I said, B is the object distance and A is the image distance. So, hence we have that 1 over 15 is equal to 1 over 25 plus 1 over A. Then, 1 over A here now is equal to 2 over 75. And taking the reciprocal of A, so A is now equal to 75 over 2, which is equal to 37.5 centimeters. So after doing that, we evaluate for L, which is A over B. And evaluating for L, which is A over B, we we'll have that L is equal to 1.5. 1.5. Remember, L has no unit. Okay, just a ratio. So after that, we also fill in our table of values. So now B is 25.00, A is 37.5, and L is 1.5. So we'll now go ahead at when B is equal to 30 centimeters. So when B is equal to 30 centimeters, what happens? Still following the same procedure using our formula then we have that 1 over 15 is equal to 1 over 30 plus 1 over a then we have then making 1 over a the, the subject of that formula there we have that 1 over a is equal to 1 over 30 then taking the reciprocal of a a is now equal to 30 centimeters and evaluating l over Evaluating for L, which is A over B, we will find out that L is equal to 30 over 30, which is equal to 1. So we will impute it in our table of values. So when B is equal to 30, A is equal to 30, and L is equal to 1. Now we go straight to when B is equal to 35 centimeters so what will happen now using this using the same mirror formula and following the same procedure now we'll have that 1 over 15 is equal to 1 over 35 plus 1 over a so 1 over a now simplifying it is equal to 4 over 105 okay so taking the reciprocal of a we're gonna have that a is equal to 26.2 Two five centimeters, and with that, evaluating for L, which is A over B, we'll have that L is equal to 26.25 divided by 35, and our final answer is 0 0.75. So we move straight to our table of values at 35, at B is equal to 35, A is 26.25, and L is equal to 0 0.75. So we will continue the trend at B is equal to 40 centimeters using the same mirror formula. We will have that 1 over 15 is equal to 1 over 40 plus 1 over A. Then 1 over A now simplifying it gives me 1 over 24. Taking the reciprocal of A. Therefore A now is equal to 24 centimeters. So evaluating for L, L which is equal to A over B, we will now have that L is equal to 24 over 40. Then 
computing our table of values we will now have that when b is equal to 40 centimeters a is equal to 24 centimeters and l is equal to 0 0.6 you can see how how how, how simple this is so that is that's a trick that's a trick so this is a this is a top secret this is something very 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 important once you have understood and mastered the secret of of this there is no practical that you will do that will be that will be challenging they will all be a piece of cake that's why i'm taking my time to teach you this so make sure you practice and practice good so after that we'll go to graph plotting we have our table of values already now i have already done my own graph plotting and uh, this is the graph the graph of l against a and uh, you can see it's a very good straight line graph it's a wonderful straight line graph this particle can enable will enable you achieve this kind of accuracy there is no point or there is no misfit points here everything is just accurate so we'll be moving to the next phase which is uh, finding the slope so the slope of our graph here is a change in the vertical axis all over change in the horizontal axis which is change in the values of l over corresponding change in the values of a and we will now say therefore the slope is i mean take, taking two values from uh, the vertical axis which is 3 minus 1 all over corresponding values of the horizontal axis which is 60 minus 30 so simplifying for the slope the slope is now 0 0.067 per centimeter remember the unit of the slope is very very important 0 0.067 per centimeter why is it per centimeter it is so because l has no unit but a has a unit which is cm and it is added in it and a is the denominator so the the the, the units will be an inverse of centimeter so that is that now talking about the precautions taken to ensure accurate results so one of them must be you ensured that you avoided error due to parallax which is very important you ensure that you avoided error due to parallax and secondly you ensured that a sharp image of the object is formed on the screen before you take your measurement so you ensure that a sharp image is formed before taking the measurement of the screen from the mirror so that is another precaution to take so make sure you practice this is as easy as that thank you for your time have a wonderful day